In part 1 of this video, we found the first two values for the system of equations by eliminating the same variable twice. We eliminated z twice and we found x and we found y. We still have to find z. Now that we have completely solved these two equations a and b for x and y, we're going to go back to one of the original equations in the problem in order to find z. We can use either equation to get the same answer. So let's just use the first equation, equation 1. Equation 1 says 3x, x we just found out was 3, minus 3y, y we just found out was negative 4, plus 5z equals 16. Multiplying out, we get 9 plus 12 plus 5z equals 16. Combining like terms, we find out that 21 plus 5z equals 16. Subtracting 21 from both sides, we get 5z is equal to negative 5, and dividing both sides by 5 gives us z equals negative 1. We now have our solution, which we can give as an ordered triplet in alphabetical order x, y, z, 3, negative 4, negative 1 is the solution to the system of equations. Let's try another example with three equations where we have to eliminate the same variable twice. Again, in this problem, we'll label them 1, 2, and 3 and look for a variable that's easy to eliminate. You may notice that the y's have a positive 2y and negative 2y if we use equations 1 and 2. Equation 1 was negative x plus 2y plus 4z equals negative 20. Equation 2, negative 2x minus 2y minus 3z equals 5. With the y's eliminating, we now have negative 3x plus z equals negative 15. We've eliminated the y now once. This is our equation A. We need to eliminate y a second time, and you may notice we can do that with equation 3, a negative 2y, and equation 1, a positive 2y. Using equations 1 and 3, equation 1 is negative x plus 2y plus 4z equals negative 20. Equation 3, 4x minus 2y minus 2z equals 26. By combining them together, y eliminates a second time, giving us 3x plus 2z equals 6. This is now our equation b, and we can solve the system a and b, two equations with two variables, just like we always have. a is negative 3x plus z equals negative 15. b is 3x plus 2z equals 6. Notice we already have opposites in front of the x's. We're left with 3z equals negative 9. Dividing by 3, we find out z is equal to negative 3. Going back to either a or b, then, we can find out what the other variable is. Let's go to equation a. Negative 3x plus z, which is negative 3, equals negative 15. Adding 3 gives us negative 3x equals negative 12, and dividing by negative 3, we find out x is equal to 4. Once we've solved the two equations with two variables, we go back to either original equation. Let's use equation number 2 to find out what the remaining variable is. Equation number 2 was negative 2x, which is 4, minus 2y, minus 3z, which we just found out was negative 3, equals 5. Multiplying, we get negative 8 minus 2y plus 9 equals 5. Combining like terms, negative 2y plus 1 equals 5. Subtracting 1, negative 2y is 4, divided by negative 2, y is negative 2. We now have our solution.